Let us study chemistry together with CBSE chemistry tips and tricks. How much charge is required for the following reduction? See question number one is one mole of Al3 plus to Al. Okay, we can do that. What is the reduction happening here? You can see Al3 plus is becoming Al. Okay, so here what is the charge? 3 plus. And here what is the charge? Zero charge. So how many electrons will be there? Three electron, right? But as per the question, see what is the number of Al3 plus? Is it one? No, it is one mole of Al3 plus, right? So you have to read this equation like one mole of Al3 plus combined with what? Combined with three moles of what? Three moles of electron to give what? To give one mole of aluminium. Clear? Aluminium metal. So how many electrons are involved? Three moles of electron, right? Three moles of electron. See, charge of one mole of electron is what? Charge of one mole of electron is what? You know, it is one Faraday. And one Faraday is 96500 Coulomb. Now here, how many moles of electrons are there? Charge of three moles of electron, right? Three moles of electron. So what is that? Three into 96500. So what is our answer? 289500 Coulomb. Okay, right. Now, if you want, you can write it in the standard form 2.895 into 10 raised to 5 coulomb. That is standard form, but this is enough. 28950. Both are same. Okay, both are same. You can write in your own way. No problem. Hope all of you understand. Now, same way we can do the next question. For second question, what is the reduction? Cu2 plus becoming Cu. Now, it is very clear, right? How many electrons are involved? Two moles of electron. Correct. From the first question, you understand the concept, right? Now, can you directly say what is the amount of charge? As it is two mole of electron, what should be the charge? You can directly say, right? You can directly say what? For one mole of electron, charge is 96500. For two mole of electron, it is what? 2 into 96500. And you will be getting like 193000 coulomb. Clear, right? Okay, here you have to read this line like what? 1 mole of Cu2 plus combined with 2 mole of electron to give 1 mole of copper metal. So here how many electrons are involved? 2 moles of electron. And for 1 mole of electron, what is the charge? 96500. So for 2 moles of electron, what is the charge? 2 into 96500. See, I didn't explain the second question too much because from the first question itself, you already got an idea, right? How to solve this. Coming to the third question. See, regarding third question, it is MnO4 minus becoming Mn2 plus. See, first of all, we have to find the oxidation state of Mn in Mn, M, MnO4 minus. So put X. So what is that? X plus for oxygen. For oxygen is there and each oxygen oxidation state is minus 2. And what is the total charge? Minus 1. So X is equal to 7 plus 7, right? So here you can see plus 7 is becoming plus 2. So how many electrons are there? 5 electron. Okay. And here we are using 1 mole of MnO4 minus. So 1 mole of MnO4 minus combined with what? 5 mole of electron, right? To give what? 1 mole of Mn2 plus. You have to read like that. Okay. Okay, right? You can read this equation like 1 mole of MnO4 minus combined with 5 mole of electron to give 1 mole of Mn2 plus. So what is the charge? See, we know charge of 1 charge of 1 mole of electron is what? It is 1 farad, which means 96500 coulomb. Now, how many moles we have? Charge of 5 mole of electron, right? We have 5 mole of electron. So what is that? 5 into 96500 coulomb. And you will be getting like 482500 coulomb. Okay, got it right? Don't read this as just 5 electron. Okay, because question is as per mole concept. So if this is 1 mole, this will be 5 mole. And here also should be 1 mole. Like that you have to read it. Okay, hope all of you understand.